Welcome to the Berry Girls Kitchen. I'm Linda and I'm Kylie. Today we're making it count by making a few homemade baby foods. We're making butternut squash, broccoli, and mango. Nothing makes a parent more proud than to create healthy, beneficial, and delicious foods for their family. Yes, and all the nutritional benefits with squash and broccoli and mango, they're fast. So let's talk about some of those benefits. Okay. Starting off with our butternut squash puree. It's creamy, smooth, a great stage one baby food. It's packed with essential nutrients like vitamin A and C, potassium, and oh. get this, protein. Wow. Butternut squash is an easy to find inexpensive food option. And when selecting your butternut squash, you'll want to look for a firm squash that's beige in color and also look for minimal bruising marks on your squash. The inside color will range anywhere from bright yellow to burnt orange, so do not be alarmed if yours is in between that color range. It's not a common allergen. However, with introducing any new food, try small portions and watch for any type of allergic reaction. And if you want to add healthy fats to your baby's meals, you can actually use extra virgin olive oil and you can use that by drizzling a little bit of that on your butternut squash before roasting. Got to get those healthy fats in. Mm -hmm. After cool, these purees can store in the refrigerator for up to three days, but get this, they can store for up to three months in the freezer, but make sure you use a freezer safe container. That's right. And one more key point is to remember to label your containers with the type of puree you're making and the date you made it before you put it in the refrigerator or the freezer. Such a great idea, Mom. Such a great idea. Next up, we have our broccoli puree. Now, let's get the baby into those healthy greens now because come later. I don't like, like it. No, no, I don't want it. I don't want it. That's right. And broccoli <laughs> has fiber and it promotes gut health and heart health and it's high in vitamins A and K. Yes, and you wanna get some nice fresh broccoli, you know, bright and of course green, but no overly firm or soft parts. You can cut up a head of broccoli or get pre-cut florets. Busy parents like myself, we'll probably go for the frozen broccoli and we gotta be a little careful with that because the taste can change slightly and be a little bit more intense for the babe. Watch the baby's face. <laughs> <laughs> we also use one small peeled apple mm -hmm. in this recipe, and that gives the puree a smooth consistency. And you can also use a small white potato or yeah. even a pear. And this gives the puree just a little bit of added starch, and it makes it for a creamy, smooth, tasting puree. And if you want to go with just a one ingredient puree, of course you can just simply use broccoli. Yes, and like mom said earlier, you can drizzle a little bit of extra virgin olive oil to give those good healthy fats, but that's optional. And don't forget, before transferring your cooked produce, you'll wanna let it cool slightly. Please do. <laughs> Next up we have pureed mango baby food. Mangoes are high in healthy plant compounds and it may improve digestive health and support eye health. Yes, and for busy parents like myself, mangoes can be thawed three different ways. One, either overnight in the fridge. Two, you can pop it into a bag and place it in cold water. Three, pop it in the blender. Now, the blender will take about two hours, but when you put it into that sealed bag, that's about 30 minutes or so. And of course, you can also use a fresh mango. Simply mm -hmm. peel and cut around the pit, cut it into small cubes, and place it in the food processor or blender, and add just a teaspoon of water at a time to yes. maybe a half teaspoon. That yes. way you won't put too much water in and you'll achieve your desired consistency. It may take you a minute or two to kind of get the recipe down, but just know that you are really doing a great job for making this for your babe. There you have it. Healthy, wonderful, great pureed recipes for the baby and maybe for you too. Don't forget to leave a like and follow us, The Berry Girls, for healthy, flavorful, fun recipes. And when you try these at home, please leave <laughs> us a comment and let us know how you make, make it count. count.
Berry Girls are brought to you by Hen House.